Hello guys, um, in today's video your boy, Revive Time, will be unboxing the PewDiePie Limited Edition Keyboard and Mouse Combo. I have used this product for about a week now, so this is going to be more of an in-depth review, but we will start with the unboxing. This is going to be me unboxing and then it's going to skip to a time of one week later. But yeah, I'm excited. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. So this is the 213th out of 500 made. Because there was only initially 500 made, but we will see. Let's just get right into it. I hope I didn't fucking cut it inside it. Okay, it's opened up now. And... Let's just... Take it out. As you see, there's nothing else in the box, so let's get straight into that. So, okay. Let's get it out, the bubble wrap. Let's put that to the side. And now we have the ghost keyboard and mouse. Uh, the box looks really nice and feels nice to be honest. Here is the ghost logo. And here is the PewDiePie Collector's Edition Mechanical Keyboard and Gaming Mouse. 214 out of 500. So here it is. But I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. I'll just open it right up. And here it is. We'll go through it one by one. Firstly, you get the cloth, ghost gamer mouse, I'm guessing. Next, we get the free extended warranty when you take a picture of it and share it with the hashtag ghost keyboards and then you'll get an extended extended one year warranty so that's pretty nice next it's the ghost m1 micro gaming mouse quick start guide so this is all fairly you know standard how to set up the software And next, we have the actual items. We'll start with the mouse since this is the more, most exciting. I mean, keyboard is the most exciting, so we'll start with the mouse. First, we have the USB Type C cable, I'm guessing for the keyboard. This is 5.0 uh, Bluetooth wireless, but they did include a cable, so that's nice. I mean, I'm guessing for the steep price of 350. They should. Next, we have the two of the keycaps. We'll do that soon enough. And now let's take the mouse out. Here it is. It's really light. I think it's around sixty grams. So that's really light. And it's a really nice feeling cable. We'll do a sound test in a moment. Ugh. Now, if I get the keyboard out.
I'll just put that to the side for a second. We'll have a look at this. And here's just the extended keyboard warranty. Quick start guide for the keyboard. And here is the 5.0 Bluetooth adapter that you plug into your PC. Let's put everything to the side just now and get to the keyboard and mouse. Here is the keyboard. So as you can see, if I just zoom in a little bit. It is really nice looking and you can just see the keycaps with the WASD being textured. And here's the Ghost X Pudes. And here is the back. Obviously it's aluminium finish by a CNC machine. But yeah, let's plug it in and just see how it looks like. So as you can see, it has a USB-C adapter just for the test, we'll do that. It's even got nice sort of like protection caps for the cable. But yeah, let's plug it in. We'll also get the mouse going. So yeah, let's just, I'll just plug it in and we'll see how it goes. So as you can see, the colors are already eliminating it's all red and then we have the mouse obviously all the RGB slash keycaps are adjustable here's the PewDiePie symbol and nice rainbow RGB Obviously, it's really light and nice to glide. So let's do the mouse sound test first. It feels really nice with the texture. I think there's some kind of texture here just to get extra grip. And here you can adjust the uh, polling rate from 128 to 1000. But yeah, you can see inside the mouse, it looks really nice. Now let's do the keyboard sound test, probably the most important thing. It feels really nice, but uh, there's no damping mat underneath it, so I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a slight ping when you press the keys. But yeah, let's take one keycap off. I have it in the cherry reds, which were very limited during the sale, but I've 
that's the keys I would prefer the most. So I waited an extra month. So that's why this review is so late. But here is the cherry red. It's a nice solid switch. You can see inside that. And obviously you can remove the keycaps and have your own bot. Like why would you do that? Most keycaps are really nice, especially the textured ones, WASD. And after using it for a while, it's really a solid keyboard, but whether it is free worth the money, it's honestly up to you. It, it, it is really high quality though, you can just feel it in the touch. Anyway, if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Or if you want me to do anything else with the keyboard, then uh, just comment it down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this short review. Anyway, yeah. Bye.